Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a long time coming and a long road to get here, but the time has finally come. The moment you've all been waiting for, welcome to the grand finals of the Spy Party Competitive League. My name is Taboshi. I'm joined by Opie Wrights. Hello, hello. And we've got Kletos hanging out as our in, uh, observer slash host this evening. We've got Lazy Bear versus Warning Track. Yeah, oh man. This the, These two players have been doing really, really... I mean, they're in the finals, so they've been doing really well this season. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's really interesting because this is the first season where a player that's not in Diamond can make the finals, which means it's the first season where we haven't seen any matches between these two players like in the regular season. Usually it was just from two Diamond players and we would have had some history there, but Lazy Bear and Warning Track have never played each other competitively before. Not even in outside of SCL, not in Cups, nothing. This is a completely new matchup. Yeah, first time it's possible for someone not in Diamond to compete for the League Championship, and it's already happening. Lazy Bear, with an undefeated season in Platinum, went 5-0-5 in the regular season. Yeah, I was really hoping uh, I was in platinum myself this past th this season, and I was really hoping to knock it knock it away from him in the last match. And I almost had it, but it would end up a draw. So he did very very well in that platinum. And it's a rough platinum too. So he's had a long road to get here. He had to beat Urand in the semifinals, who won diamond in the regular season, beating out Warning Track, who only took second in the regular season. But in the end, it all comes down to this this match. This match right here. And the format is a little bit different, but it's not too complicated. Each player gets two bans, and then each player gets two doubles, and then each player gets two singles. So that's, I believe, uh, best of 24, that first to correct. 13. Yes, first to 13. And if it is a 12-12 draw, we go into missions equals points overtime. And, uh, oh, uh, you know, well, I think we'll try, we'll save on the explanation of missions equals points until we might have to actually get there because, uh, it's, it's, it's a short explanation, but it can be a little bit complex. I told warning track to make sure uh, he gets there, but I'm not sure. If he <laughs> I'm not sure if you listen to me. Yeah. Missions equals points is scary. It's probably not going to come to that. We'll deal with that if it happens. The draft is yeah. in, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. We start things off with Lacey Bear on with the first move, banning out Veranda. Track bans out Aquarium. Lazy Bear bans out Ballroom. Warning Track bans out Modern. Yeah, and uh, if you're keeping count at home, this this format means that 12 of 13 possible venues will be seen in the draft. Uh, if you're looking down, the one that's missing is Terrace, which is a little bit surprising for me, but we'll go through the rest of the double picks real quick. Lazy Bear is going to pick up Tayen for of eight. Uh, track kind of goes goes in the other direction with Courtyard. Lazy Bear will then double Library. And track getting Gallery in as the doubles, and as we move into the singles, we see High Rise, then Balcony, then Redwoods, and finally Pub as the last venue in the entire uh, uh, picks and bands. Oh my so, god, that's going to be so stressful if we get there. <laughs> yeah, there, there. There's a lot to unpack here. One of the interesting things is Terrace got ignored. And Terrace is a venue that Lazy Bear has banned pretty consistently across the entire season. Banned it in both sets versus me, for example. So there's a lot... It's, it's very interesting that Warning Track did not try to pick up anything on Terrace. Maybe because of the fact that Lazy Bear hasn't played Terrace, he wasn't able to get any information on how Lazy Bear would respond to a Terrace set and doesn't want to go into a venue blind. That is my best guess on why this wasn't picked up. Also possible that Track just doesn't like Terrace and Lazy Bear knew that. <laughs> That's definitely true. Uh, Aquarium, of course, is very, very easy ban for track. The very first ban in the entire thing. 
Lazy Bear is known for Aquarium, did a lot of crazy tech on Aquarium in the regular season to pick up some wins and really, really launch himself into the front of Platinum. So Aquarium just being gone makes a whole lot of sense. Other than that, though, you know, this is this is definitely some preparation. Veranda makes sense. Track does do very, very well on Veranda. Actually uh, allowed... Uh, 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 likes to pick it, or rather allow Kaylee, even in, in previous seasons, to pick Terrace into him. I mean, rather, Veranda into him. So it's not, it's definitely something that Track is very, very comfortable on. So not surprising to see that. But that's enough about the draft, I think. It's, you know, every single venue basically is being seen here. There's a lot of reasons for all of them, but we do have the first game ready. And the first game is going to be Taeyen with Warning Track on the Spy side, Lazy Bear on the Sniper to open things up. Let's get this thing underway in three, two, one, playing it. And oh man, oh man, this is a hype final. Warning Track has been in Diamond, for, I believe this is his third season in Diamond. Uh, no, yeah, third season in Diamond, and he has been close to the finals every single time. And he's gotten closer and closer. In his first season in Diamond, he was third place. In his second season, he was also third place, but the story goes that he was one pixel away from flipping into second place. One pixel on a balcony game got 99% flirt instead of 100% flirt against KCM, who beat him by two points for the second place spot. And it would have flipped a, from a from a loss into a draw, which is a two point uh, switch. So he's gotten closer and closer every single year. He's finally in the finals. Can he pull this off, or will Lazy Bear take it uh, in dominating fashion? Because Lazy Bear's had a really really good season. It's been kind of dominating recently. Twenty three percent on the first flirt, but more importantly, a very very early fingerprint off of a drink so that's a very big way to start this off but it's been pretty slow other than that just waiting out the timer flirt and it's another white so 46 percent is where that stands that's not what you want to see on this venue but we've still got a little bit of time to work a little over two minutes left to play and that fingerprint is definitely going to help yeah Flirt is not the biggest concern on a venue like Tayin, where everyone is packed and close. There's not really many places to be for your ST to run away from you. It's not like it's this is gallery or modern or anything where they can just run across the entire venue. So there's not really that big of a deal that we're only at 46% here. However, you are right. Track uh, has a pretty high green test rate. In fact, these are two of the highest green test rate players in the entire league. Both of them are nearing 60% over the entire season, which is really quite absurd. Red. Here comes a contact from Warning Track. That one's a green. Yeah. Uh, not necessarily the one you desperately want to have a green, but basically no reaction out of Lazy Bear there. Or one as well. Yeah, not able to get any information off of the uh, contact, but it does cover for a green purloin. We'll see how that turns out. There's the third flirt coming off. We're at 73%. We are starting to get a bit of a purloin chain here, so this could be big for warning track. There's the take. Where's the reaction? Is it just a shot? Oh my god, Lazy Bear! What a way to start! Yeah, really, really impressive here from Lazy Bear. This is actually one of track's favorite plays. Track when he's playing, does not like to do early hardtells, but one of the, his favorite hardtell is basically Purloin, especially in the wake of a contact like this. And Lazy Bear perhaps has a little bit of study going on on Warning Track, knows to be watching that Purloin in the, in, in, in the direct aftermath, and we didn't see any rejects. Actually, no, we saw one reject from Salmon here, and Lazy Bear actually assumes the first rejector, which is a little bit interesting, but it is the correct shot. I, I think we, we were going to see perhaps a fingerprint and flirt finish if that didn't get a shot, but Lazy Bear all over it. Now into the second game on his own spy side, and uh, we've been... <clears throat> okay, let's, let's get on into it. <laughs> Sorry, uh, we'll, we'll talk about a little bit 
uh, of what I want to talk about as we get in the next game in three, two, one, playing it. So some of some of these stats coming into this are, are very, very interesting from each player. Lazy Bear is n well known for having a really, really strong spy side with not many weaknesses, a lot of very just clean play and very varied play. And uh, does uh, have a similar spy win rate to Warning Track. However, again, they come from different divisions and Lazy Bear runs ahead of, of uh, Platinum Division by like 18%, whereas Warning Track only runs ahead of Diamond, Diamond Division by 12%. So relatively speaking, Lazy Bear is doing better in his division comparatively to Warning Track. However, if we talk about sniper win rate, Warning Track has both a 4% higher sniper win rate and runs 12 points ahead of the rest of Diamond, while Lazy Bear is only 4% ahead on Sniper side in the rest of Platinum. So there, there's your relative strengths here for Lazy Bear and Warning Track. Warning Track has a better Sniper comparatively, but Lazy Bear's Spy is probably one of the best in the game right now. We have an early highlight onto Lazy Bear, by the way, for only 34%. Yeah, just 34% on the flirt. Nothing else done at this point. Was in conversation with the double agent for a little while, but now that he's gone, Lazy Bear is once again, same as Warning Track, in the position of being a suspect without really having moved all game long. Yeah, and so one of the biggest things about playing Tayen is that both of these players, their relative weakness on the sniper side is when they're just going to find, be, be taking civilian shots. This season, that is how both of these players have the lost direction. the majority of their games. And wow! Oh my that? god! Right out of the contact, the shot comes off immediately. The snipers are on point right now. What a statement shot from Warning Track right there. The the best I can figure, there might have been a bug credit as the ambassador was nearby us early in this game. But no, the, the highlight comes off so, so much later. And I'm not sure what it's for, but perhaps just the movement around this contact and track has clearly got some kind of read on lazy bear spy to be taking a shot like that yeah lazy bear took a pretty big statement shot and warning track answers right back with one of its own two more of tayan as we're tied at one let's get the next one underway in three two one playing it yeah tayan of course uh, as I mentioned, both these players can be prone to civilian shots. And the thing is, we just saw right there, both of them took relatively early shots where it wasn't quite certain that they were shooting the spy, you know? We, uh, Lazy Bear only had the one mission. Track had a rejector behind him in the chain. And so if those shots come off wrong, they look a lot different, right? But Absolutely. so far, they've come off right, and Tayen is still a venue where you can see that kind of thing, where you can see this kind of uh, civilian shot meta because of just how occluded it all can be with the shoji and the very, very packed conversations. Right now, though, Lazy Bear getting a little bit lucky, uh, quote unquote. We, we always say that on Tayen, you really want the first two Shoji facing the sniper to be on the same side as it makes it a lot easier, a lot more angles of clear view on the party. You can take that further right angle without being punished for it at all. So, and you'll, you'll see Lazy Bear doing this right now. He's taking this really far right angle. So, two flirts deep from a bit of a distance coming out of warning track here. So first one green, second one white leads us to 69%. Picking up a fingerprint on the green book as well. So we'll see what winds up happening with that. But this is a pretty decent start for warning track. This is really interesting because track does not attempt prints very, very often, at least not this season. Uh, I think that there were only a few times in the entire season, like four or five times over the entirety of the season this uh, in, in SCL6, where he actually attempted prints, and the majority of those were during games where he was going for full soft tail. So inspect, contact, seduce, flirt. So it's actually really interesting to me that we're seeing so many prints so early on, but this does still play into what Track likes to do. He very rarely, as I mentioned, goes for those really way. hard tells, and in fact, contacts, before doing, before attempting any hard tell whatsoever, 
about 70% of the time. Well, he just did it there as well. B very little reaction out of Lazy Bear. We've got, I think, just the one low light for it as he's finished up his flirt as well. Minute and five left to play. That means we've got two missions left to do with the longest and the shortest already in the books. Yeah, we are definitely going to be looking for this drink fingerprint that just got put down there. Alice is going to be offered, and we are the next natural offer. So this is, oh, this really, is really, really nice looking for, like, it, it just does not look like a request at all. Oh, it's a point! He's rejecting the purloin drink! He's rejecting the printable drink and making it a purloin. There's the take! There's the There's paper the shot! shot the bears on top of it! We're, okay, this is really, really interesting from track. He rejects, as a, as a purloin, the printable drink and goes in for a last print on the bookcase instead hoping that the fact that he was rejecting a printable drink as someone who already had a print would get him less suspicion. But Lazy Bear, all over those prints, it seems very, very nicely done. Didn't even seem to hesitate. And Lazy Bear does manage to take that sniper win on Tayen. And now he's playing for an advantage on the spy side. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate that it was a low light that took the drink, but jury's still out on whether or not it would have mattered <laughs> as Lazy Bear steps into the spy side to see if he can find a way to pull a lead on his first doubled map of Tayen in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Whew, all right. ST joined us really, really early. We stopped in this conversation in our ST very nicely stopped with us 34 percent on the flirt though we haven't seen too many too many greens no like two green flirts so far yeah i think the the first green flirt uh we've only had one of them this evening so far and that was warning tracks last game and he wasn't even get, able to get a whole lot out of it because the selection target was at a bit of a distance so it's 34 percent the Pretty much the standard opening to the game, and it looks like Lazy Bear, as seems to be tradition tonight, is just going to chill and wait for the timer. Yeah, a very nice and slow game. <clears throat> and we do see a time... Look at this. Everyone except for the double agent and one other character is in conversation. That could be very, very interesting for Warning Track to be watching if we're looking at the, the contact timing because there's only two conversation circles. They're all very, very full. So there is a potential idea that Track could suss out that the real double agent is currently out of conversation at these statues and makes a potential contact later that much more suspicious for Lazy Bear if he's taking that real. It's another white test for Lazy Bear, bringing us up to 68% on the flirt. Now, we are still in range for the three flirt on whites, but this is an uncharacteristic amount of white tests. Yeah, I, I do agree. And that one is also white, but that one didn't need to be green, so probably took a little bit of a safer path through it. We just didn't didn't want a red test is the uh, the main idea right there, I think. Kane takes an interesting path past the ambassador and goes into center statues. Lazy Bear might want to might have seen that and was definitely looking and might want to try to swap for Kane here. That is very much within his wheelhouse. He loves to frame and get someone who he thinks is suspicious shot. And Lazy Bear, even though tried to take a wide path around the Ambassador, because of the sniper angle, looked like a bug path anyways. Back into conversation, this time with the double agent, looking to line up a contact here, but people still moving around a little bit. Here's the contact coming off. Immediately splits after it happens. Yeah, the split does not appear to be rewarded, but we, look at this. We also didn't get highlight. We didn't get a highlight for the real, which everyone else in that conversation did. So while we were not rewarded for the split, it's a purloin. It's a purloin. It's a red purloin. It's like that. Just straight up on the white. There's the shot. Warning track is on top of things, and we come out of Tayen tied at two. Yeah, and there was actually a little bit of little moment there, I think, where Track almost like shot through Sari's elbow or something onto Alice in the background, but it would have been really, really insane if that happens. But it does not happen. We see Sniper Party through Tayen, and now we have Courtyard, which is 
most people would say that Courtyard is more sniper favored than Taeyen, that's for sure. Yeah, it certainly was for a very long time, and then Spy started getting real creative and suddenly started winning a whole bunch, so we'll see what happens between these two. Warning track starting on the Spy side in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Yeah, playing Smallman. By the way, we did have a hype stream yesterday, and we did call an over-under on Smallman games uh, during the Q&A of that. The over-under was three. I said under. This is our first game, so we'll have to see what comes next. But we do pick up that rote highlight for the statues, as everyone does on Courtyard. Yeah, Smallman not a particularly powerful character on this map, um, but... Very unusually, we do see that super early statue visit. So that's the inspects done and dusted right off the top of the game. But you do get the highlight for it, which is a trade that people generally don't want to make. In conversation now with the double agent, here comes the contact on a red. white test. And I think that's what? That's only everyone in these two big conversations, except for two people and unfortunately, the SDA as well. Yeah, only four reels in for that, and that is a bad look, especially with the white test. It's, it's with how high tracks uh, green test rate is, a white test is not necessarily that suspicious, but it's there's still this kind of subconscious thing where it's like, you see them talking, you hear the contact, and you're like, oh, okay, that looks a little bit more like the spy. We'll see if that affects it going forward. But we do have Truck again doing those soft tails before looking for the hard tail. We see a double talk actually for this flirt, but of course he is off screen. The ambassador is on the other side of the venue, so there's no reason for Lazy Bear to really be looking over at Truck. So we can get away with breaking the etiquette, no big deal. Green test at a distance nets us 37% off of the first flirt. And it's such a shame because from Warning Truck's perspective, that looked like such a good time to contact. Very unfortunate that the SDA was out of conversation. Yeah, really, really not what you wanted to see there out of warning track. <clears throat> but, you know, it is, this is still courtyard. It's still, you're going to contact, you're going to inspect, you're going to seduce, and you're going to try to find that one last mission. The interesting thing about Smallman, he's so strong for uh, so many things, but the one thing he's not strong on is probably track's favorite hardtail, and that's Purloin. And the reason for that is that Toby has to kneel down to offer to Smallman, which means that being offered is so much more conspicuous in the sniper's mind we actually might be going for a cheese swap on the other side of the venue here as the ambassador and toby are around but we're not actually swapping we're not going for it this would be absolutely huge we could have gotten away with this 100 percent clean i think and here comes the swap but the shot just comes off now i'm very confused yeah we like we Ooh. had a really good timing for the cheese swap here Lazy Bear was kind of stuck on this side of the, the venue because he was already over here. And then you watch as Toby and Ambassador are across from each other on either side of the Turing statue. So doing a rotation all the way around would mean leaving one of them off screen for a little bit of time. And usually snipers are loath to do that. You don't have to keep one of them off screen if you don't have to, but that means that the rotation was not there from Lazy Bear. And if the warning track had gone for that cheese swap, I think he might've been able to get away with it. Yeah, it almost looked like it was supposed to be a fake green, which is weird that he waited an extra cycle for it, but it's a very odd decision, didn't quite work out, and now it's Lazy Bear's turn on the spy side in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Yeah, and it, it, of course, this is still courtyard. It is still sniping courtyard for the even. So, so Lazy Bear has not really created the lead yet until he can find the spy win, so... It's not super, super surprising that we're going to see that spy, the, uh, the sniper went from Lazy Bear there. But I think Warning Track had a really, really good chance that he kind of blew, honestly, when not taking that, that cheese swap. But again, it can be hard in the moment to really evaluate if that's going to get you shot or if it's going to get you a game win. But especially on Courtyard, trying to find that kind of thing, I think that that's going to be better odds than your just average kind of play, right? Your average I think so. Grab. Yep. Think Lazy Bear that. opening the game with a quick little briefcase grab for a fingerprint. So that does net him a highlight, but and he hasn't been to statues yet. It's going to be interesting to see 
how Warning Track plays the rest of these highlights. It looks like they're all going for statue visits, but Lazy Bear already has one for the fingerprint, so it's going to be interesting to see how Track's memory is on that. Yeah, I think this highlight has to be some kind of research highlight because usually the, the very standard courtyard lighting system is just highlight everyone that goes to statues, right? It's not that difficult. It's basically required that a spy goes to statues at some point in a courtyard game or else they're doing two hard tells. Red flirt? That, that looked that very red. quick, too. I'm pretty sure that... Almost that had to be intentional. Fake that... contact as well with only one other person in? I think this is a huge frame attempt. I think that Lazy Bear is very, very deliberately framing Kane here. Kane got red flirted out of our conversation, walked into conversation with the real DA, and immediately started talking. And Lazy Bear saw that as an opportunity to say, okay, this character needs to be more suspicious. And the thing is, Track actually, I think, faked low lights. Uh, for for the fake here. So green test now on our flirt. Lazy Bear might think that he's now a low light and instead is a highlight. There's no reason to think he's a highlight either because he hasn't been a statue and that's your normal thing. But track keeping us in the suspect pool, this is a really, it seems like a, just a really big read on what Lazy Bear's spy is like and how he can abuse that, especially on venue specific things like Courtyard of Tayan. Because we just, the spy has gotten highlight early so many times already from from lazy bear yeah yeah but lazy bear is clearly not even attempting to finish missions here so we're gonna have to keep a very close eye on kane to see what he does and right now he's not doing a whole lot hanging out at the windows a bunch grabbing an innocent drink it's just there's just not that much going on with him unfortunately lazy bear is going for a swap cheese it's and green it's swap green. immediately steps away and gets caught out for it as he tried to catch warning track on a rotation that's um three to three at this point yeah that was uh it was definitely an attempt i think what lazy bear was going for was you saw sorry going for this briefcase return and you know that track is likely going to be watching pretty closely for bug track has a big habit of zooming in on that kind of thing, on, on, on potential bugs. So zooming in means that you're, you, you ha it takes longer to get back out, to get to the, seeing the rest of the party. Your rotations take longer. And Lazy Bear tried to use that tiny, tiny sliver of opportunity to take that cheese swap. Unfortunately, Track was able to find the, the rotations, the zoom back out, and, and find that shot. So we are going into the second half of Courtyard, still sniper party, still 3-3. And, and uh, I'm very curious to see what's going on in this next game because it's still happening. Yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> we've gotten through these games a little bit faster than, uh, than the, the delay. Uh, they started the match a little bit early, but that's, you know, how we do things. The, the delay weird thing is, like, most of these games haven't really been cut that short. Yeah, yeah, this, there, there, there haven't been any, like, really, really short games, for sure. So this one is going quite a long time. <laughs> Prepare uh, for time, Ed. I suppose so. Track is the spy this time around, and Track does occasionally go for those time ad plays. He's pretty good at uh, varying up how much time he's going to be taking the game. He, he does do those time ads. You can't count those out against him. Um, he's not, you know, some pwn noob level of time adding. <laughs> there are no memes about it, but you you will see them on occasion. So yeah, it's, it's easy for me to forget because it's been a while since I've casted a live game. But Warning Track is one of the few people who really likes to sit back and take a few moments to watch replays in between the games. Most people just want to fly on to the next one, but Track absolutely does take his time with these. We are ready to get into the next one. It's three to three with warning track on the spy side in three, two, one, playing it. And track is playing cowboy, a fairly popular ambassador, but track prefers his ambassador as Taft, the other uh, most popular ambassador in the game. And st starting us out slowly. <laughs> 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 Who could have guessed? We, have, we, we are standing next to the double agent here, and we actually have the ambassador coming in next to us. Here comes a contact. We could go for a Banana bug bread. right after the contact. We might know the ambassador does unfortunately walk away a little bit too quickly because of the white test on the contact. 
So we do knock out two statue visitors. It was a nice attempt from Warning Trek. It was definitely worth going for. And yeah, I just, I just, I just don't think there was a play for the bug there, especially at the angle Lazy Bear was at. If he'd moved around either one way or the other, then maybe. But where he was sitting. There's just no way. Heading over now to the seduction target, looking for that first flirt of the game now that we've got our contact done. It is, in fact, a green test as well for 42%. And I think I think I know a little bit of why we were sending just next to the double agent right there. Track, uh, before the set, sent me a little bit of information about his his prep against Lazy Bear, and la he found, found that Lazy Bear likes to take soft low lights on people who are standing far away from other people in conversation or next to cast for example so they you know you know you can't be flirting with that character so i think that that was very very intentional on warning tracks part to try to net that low light but he kind of went out of that plan as he saw the opportunity for that bug and it didn't end up working out for him uh, unfortunately, just because of that white test, you didn't have enough time to take the bug, and you might have gotten shot for it anyways, and if you're not going to guaranteed get the bug that you're going for completed, it's there's, there's no reason to take that risk. Second flirt, another green brings us up to 85% with a minute and 10 left to play. These have been very slow-moving courtyard games, and Warning Track is once again behind the curve time-wise, so it's going to be interesting to see where the attempt at the the hardtail is, or if he's going to go for some crazy frame shenaniganry. I wouldn't say he's really behind the curve necessarily. The thing is about Courtyard is that we only have There's one more- There's a time ad. Yeah, there, <laughs> <laughs> there it is. So we sort of expected this with just how long that last game, th th this game kind of expected him to be taking. Here comes a second Ooh. contact. This one, a, a fake. That's very interesting, because there's this little rule of thumb in Spy Party where if there's two contacts, the second one's the real one. Uh -oh, but it's not true. In this case, there's the Spurloid! It's a white! Oh no, it's all falling apart for Warning Track, and he hasn't even been to the statues yet! The question is, didn't Lazy Bear really, really see that fade? Because if he did, he should be taking this shot, but Irish was a rejector, and if he's not sure about the fade, she could get shot. We do see low lights coming out from Lazy Bear. It is down to two. Yeah, but Warning Track can't survive statues, though, right? I I definitely doubt. It. I think that we're looking to have Iris do something, anything that Lazy Bear would want to shoot her for. After all, I believe she has been to statues. That is why she's a highlight. So. Maybe some, finding some some kind of Irish flirt here, but the thing is, she's not. She's just standing around at windows. That's really where you, not where you want her to be. And yeah, Trap is the kind of player who will just time out uh, if you allow it, right? Yeah. You might see another timeout though. Oh, it's a white. Oh, it's white. Oh no. Oh, he's owning it, but it's not enough. Yeah. A, a little bit unfortunate there for warning track. Iris just did not cooperate in the aftermath of that frame attempt. And Lazy Bear is able to find the shot. Track now sniping to keep it even on courtyard in the through the first set of doubles. In three, two, one, playing it. Lazy Bear does wind up in a nice spot with his seduction target. And finally, finally, we see 51% on the first flirt. It actually happened. <laughs> yeah, well, we haven't seen any 99% yet. So. <laughs> At least there's that. <laughs> Our ST actually leaves us here, and Lazy Bear is going to take that opportunity to not go for a really, really aggressive flirt. He's just going to take that uh far away 17 percent even this is the worst possible successful flirt so it's now up to 68 percent which means one more close white will do it but we do have it really early in the game this is 45 seconds in usually the flirt cooldown when you're just flirting next to someone is 45 seconds so the fact that we don't really seem to have just been standing next to someone this entire time but we already have that flirt progress is pretty good yeah, I actually do really like this play from Lazy Bear. I think if you get that really early uh, green and your selection target steps away like that, you've got really two options. One is go for the two flirt immediately. 
But you've got so much time left on the clock, and Flirt's not suspicious unless you make it suspicious. So don't make it suspicious. Back into conversation we are with the double agent at this point. It looks like a great time for it, too. Only a couple of people out of conversations the at this the point. There it is. Uh, it's going to knock out two people, unfortunately, both of which were Hylet at the time. So a couple of statue visitors gone. But other than that, quite nice for Lazy Bear. Yeah, and on Courtyard in particular, you have to be pretty creative about how you're going to win the game because it's just so difficult to find wins, you know, just playing normally on Courtyard. And that is that is what the proponents of Courtyard like about it. You have to find that creati creativity outside of the norm. <clears throat> uh, we do finish up our flirt here next to our ST. 68% goes all the way up to 100%, as we mentioned earlier. It is not that really quick flirt finish, but it is done. We have a minute left to find inspects and prob probably inspects and one more hard tell. Absolutely. Um, we've got the flirt done at this point, so that's two missions in the books, but only 50 seconds left to play as we step into statues. Once again, a little bit behind the curve time-wise. Usually, if you're doing these normal standard games, you want to be coming out of your last soft tail with about a minute left on the clock. The oh, swap. it's just it's a swap. swap straight up. Is he going to notice? Yep, not even hesitating. No worry about being a green test, just taking the shot. And we're tied at four coming out of courtyard. Yeah, and that's fairly expected, uh, I think, especially after you see these players sniper party Tayen, it would be pretty surprising to, for them to find spy wins on courtyard, but really, really impressive. The same, uh, you know, all the same. So we are going to be going in to the next venue now, which yeah, especially I with very play. standard spy play on courtyard. Well, I was saying this before the venue started. Generally, on that venue you kind of have to get creative from the spy side if you're going to take something and warning track arguably had a go of it in his first spy game with that weird swap but didn't wind up happening yeah i would have definitely liked to see that cheese swap happen lazy bear still could have figured it out I think in that game because pretty much the entire rest of the party was on his screen. So if he does that kind of mental process of elimination and think, okay, who didn't I see on my screen when I wasn't doing this rotation? And you think, okay, there's Smallman. I didn't see him on my screen and he, he you know, he's one of my highlights. Yeah, but that, you're, you're, you're Smallman. Sometimes you just don't see him on your screen. But the, the, the other thing is, is that doing that swap, you could, you could even green test it right and have someone else swap it for you and then it just becomes so much harder for lazy bear to find that that victory uh on the sniper side so a little bit of a missed opportunity i think from track but again this is a very long set this is double the length of your regular season scl set run of the mill kind of deal so you know, there's a lot of time to find other opportunities, to find other ways to break open this set. But so far, neither player has been able to take advantage of anything huge and find a spy win. I wonder if we can set up a show match between the winner of this and Crazy Kaylee. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. However, of course, Kaylee is very busy these days. Well, well <laughs> I will, for, for what I understand, Kaylee is in the Ascendant League, which is where that's the division where you go when you won five times. So if if, <laughs> if 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 one another player wins five times, then they will indeed have their match. Oh, of course, of course. You actually have to win five times. Yeah. Unfortunately, Warning Track cannot, uh, will not be getting there after all. Warning Track is retiring from competitive play after the season. Will, of course, be sticking around in the community, being the stats guy. We love him for his stats. Uh, he's got a great website, spypartyfans.com, with all sorts of competitive uh, league stats. But before we even get into that, before, you know, that's kind of just as an aside, we've got Library, which is... Uh, lazy bears second double all right let's see this is definitely a venue where some serious shenaniganry can go down on the spy side let's see if anyone can make use of it and finally break this sniper streak in three two one playing it warning track of course 
once again starting this off on the spy side and the library is one of those venues where the sniper is pretty heavily favored it's five of eight that's going to be true for any five of eight venue as it stands pretty much uh but library a lot of people like because there's just a lot of opportunity for the spy to do things the sniper can only see about one third of the venue at any given time so there's gonna be times when the spy is off screen where they can try to make something happen in the sniper's quite literal blind spot so we'll see how each of these spies goes use it and, and tries to use that going forward i would not be surprised to see we're gonna try to go for prince again this this set uh, this game rather he has been favoring those quite a bit and we do see a green time at nice and early we're on the other side of the venue from toby and the ambassador which means that the the likelihood of us being seen doing that goes down and down and 45 seconds on the clock never something you want to sniff at yeah, and it was a very slow start as well. Didn't get anything done through the opening moments of that game. But in now the with red. the double agent, the contact coming off. One, two, three, four, three low lights. Uh, five low lights in the end, it looks like. Uh, unless those were low lights that, that were already it, well, had. It, it looked like it was going to be, but then uh, Cowboy got brought back up. So it wound up being four. Yeah, Cowboy. And that was actually really unfortunate because I'm pretty sure the majority of the people who were out of that uh, uh, contact were on screen. Were, 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 were one on screen, yes, makes it easier to low light them, and were highlights. Uh, unbeknownst to Warning Truck, I'm sure, but 51% on that Seduce now. Again, it's a, it's a pretty slow game. Track still has, uh, uh, still holding true to that, that idea that he won't really do hard tells before contacting. Yeah, and this is a very, very slow spy game from Warning Track. Even with that early time ad, all we've got now is the one flirt and the contact and really nothing else. Yeah, we will see. <clears throat> we're making definitely, we're definitely making use of that time ad. Uh, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Maybe a bit much too, maybe a bit too much use of that time, Ed, but still three minutes left to play. Lots of time to get some stuff done, but we've got another low light somewhere along the line and warning track stepping across towards the statues, it looks like. No, it's just going to be another innocent conversation. And the ambassador almost joins next to us, almost. <laughs> But decides to walk away instead and now we're just kind of in this useless conversation contacts of course is already completed it was our first mission and our only mission so far here comes a reject for that purloin once again we're gonna see you track doing purloin this is by far his favorite hard tell uh and now we might even see going for perhaps inspects into swap or just getting inspects getting these inspects Look how far also. toby went after that grab on the purloin and look at this, look at this look. There's the, there's the fade. The take has happened, the fade has happened. Here's the swap. It's a we white don't have flirt done there. We don't have flirt done. If we had flirt done, this game would be almost over. Three, three seconds left in it. But you didn't see it, you didn't see the swap. Lazy Bear appears to be too concerned about this purloin to check that statue again. We need one more flirt if it can be a green test. Track still on the other side of the venue, not looking. I think, I think you saw it. I think there was a double take there. But Lazy Bear does not seem to have caught on to this swap yet. Just the distraction from the purloin at the same time as the yeah. swap, and it seems to have worked, but we still need to find one more mission. We take this drink. We still have a minute and 10. We still have a minute and 15 seconds. He only needs one or two flirts. I don't think there's any way that Lazy Bear is going to catch him for this. If he yeah. takes too long on his flirts, it's going to be bad, but... That, well, so, so the thing is, when you do this white swap, even if the sniper doesn't notice immediately, the longer this game goes on, the longer you give the sniper to notice, hey, this statue is different, who was there, I need to think back and shoot you. If No, this is, this is great, though, because if he, if the longer it goes before he notices that swaps happened, the more he's going to panic when it happens. I don't I think Warning Track is getting shot for the swap. I really don't. But the thing is, this game could already be over. I think Track thinks he's way more suspicious than he is for this. 
and doesn't we only have 30 seconds left to play. This is really bad. You've we got need to get flirt. this flirt. She goes Lady into a bear and has no idea. He's floundering. You can tell by the laser movement how quickly he's whipping back and but forth. Now we need seconds. Flirt. We need this. This needs Ten to be seconds. Flirt. It's gonna be overtime. He it's doesn't. A late test. He doesn't hit it. Five seconds. Boom <gasps> track. You can't let it happen like this. You can't let it happen like this. He runs out of time. Are you kidding me? No way. <gasps> track. I cannot believe this. We had a minute and 30 when that swap came off. We were never caught for it. And we only had a one flirt left to do. And we didn't get the green test that we needed because we waited for 80 seconds to go for that flirt. Wow. If you survive, if you do two hard tells and survive them both. You cannot just not finish missions. You can't. So the thing is, Lazy was actually looking for a swap for wheels in the waning seconds of that game, which tells you 100% he never caught on to that swap. He never noticed it had happened. And so Track was way less of a suspect than I think he ever thought he could be with that play. And it just burns him the fact that he did not want to play it too quickly. The ST never landed anywhere good. We could have joined her at a green bookcase at one point, but we took a drink instead. That that kind of decision making, you need to just get that last flirt, especially when you've only been with Irish once before in the game because you had that early green test on the flirt. Like, you need to go for that flirt and you can't let yourself time out in a game that you've essentially won. That's absolutely devastating for track. And while it's not a huge deal necessarily because again it is a spy game on library it's also a spy game on library which you should have won yeah like especially like i know tracks thinking here track has talked to me about this a few times it's the idea that if you show two hard tells no sniper in the world is going to be able to hold that shot the problem is Lazy Bear didn't notice the other hard tell. <laughs> yeah, that's really, really unfortunate there for Warning Track. Oh, boy. And now... On to the next one. On to the next one. Track. Lazy Bear on the spy side, Warning Track on the sniper. That has to be heartbreaking, but we'll see if he can bounce back from it from the sniper side in three, two, one, playing it. And the question is, who does that do more mental damage to? right does, does, oh, does track 100 percent track <laughs> because there there is this idea where you know lazy bear sees that and he just like takes this big breath like oh my god <laughs> that could have gone so much worse you know i've definitely played games where i see the final mission count and i realize they only did the flirt left and i'm like oh no <laughs> I, I should have lost that game and lazy bear is definitely feeling that right about now but can Lazy Bear flip the script, burn a track for that mistake, find a spy victory on library and say, because you didn't get this flirt done, now I'm ahead in this set. We'll see. Still, still has to find a win from the spy side to make it happen and starting things out with a questionably legal briefcase print. Yeah, it is the early fingerprint. We've seen this once already from Lazy Bear. Picked up a highlight for it on Courtyard, but not this time. So, other than that print, a fairly slow start from Lazy Bear. Hasn't been able to get any early flirts, but never underestimate the power of an early print. That gives you a lot of outs late in the game. Yeah, for sure. If you leave two prints for later in the game, it can be really, really tough to find both of them in a quick and non-suspicious time. But getting it at the very start of the game, one, it allows time for the sniper to kind of just forget you've got it, right? And it also leaves it so you only need one print at the very end of the game to complete that mission, which makes it a lot easier to find an unsuspicious idea to finish off that mission. And of course, the sniper can still credit you, can still give you that mission, but it is really, really giving us options and uh, opening up what we can do with the rest of this game. 23% on the first flirt is not necessarily what you want to see, but 
Slow starts for the Spies seems like the name of the game tonight. Yeah, both of these players are not ones to really go aggr really aggressive early on in the game. They want to keep their options open. They want to keep things in flux. They want to say, I'm going to give you the opportunity to shoot someone else, but I'm also going to get steady progress. I'm going to try to find frame targets. I'm just going to let the party do, do work for me rather than really push an agenda of my own. And uh, it, it works very well for both of them, as you know the stats show. They both have an above 50%, I believe, or really close to 50% spy win rate in their divisions this time. Green test high mad as soon as we step into windows. Tract is just kind of only uh, zooming over us just a little bit, so I don't think the immediate... Oh, it's safety off! Never oh, mind. Mind. <laughs> I, yeah. It looked like for a moment Track did not react to that, but the instant watch check, especially after we see that the timer has slowed down on the sniper side, I think Lazy Bear is in big trouble here. This, yeah, we went, we actually went safety off on Lazy for a second. That is not a good sign. Up to 91% on the flirt with the one print still, but two minutes left on the spy the side. There's the first mission completion coming off in the contact. Lazy Bear is just not moving fast enough and is very suspicious it's all bad for lazy bear right now yeah with 145 on the clock only one mission done despite the fact that two missions are close to completion you're gonna need a lot more than that to get away with this game and you're already basically the top suspect in track's eyes it would seem that's gonna be difficult there's the flirt done. That's two missions with a minute and 30 left. Three missions to go. At least we have the print, right? <laughs> yeah, we do have the print. There is one going down on blue bookcase just about now. So we'll see if Lady Bear wants to step in there. Instead, going to go out to some windows. Maybe try to purl in as Toby is walking towards us. No, does not call Toby over. Instead, we maybe go for a difficult off this briefcase as Saman just put it down. We have some options, but none of them seem particularly appealing right now. Yeah, I, I, oh god, it's another, it's another time ad. <laughs> yeah, another one. <laughs> well, he needs it. There's no, he doesn't have time to do things. Into the statues he goes. This is side statues here. Track looking, lasering down that, uh, that swap. And I think Lazy Bear understands just how suspicious he is with that kind of hold. What a weird game this has been. A few of these have been really weird games, but like just playing full on patience, time adding a bunch and daring your opponent not to take a shot is like, it's in very interesting match play, but it's not necessarily working. There's a print coming off of the green bookcase. So that's a third mission done, but we're already back down to 50 seconds on the clock. And we still need two more. Yeah, they and I wouldn't be surprised to see an Inspect swap. swap. Inspect Swap is definitely the path of least resistance here, especially as we got the early ins the Inspects earlier. But I think that this just gets caught. Uh, oh, we're going slow in beats. for it. Here it comes. Here's we're the doing inspect. the Inspect here from the There's Swap. The swap. Track is away. There and is the a little bait swings away for like half a second. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, it just seemed like Lazy Bear was dead to rights right after that time ad, but Track, with the patience, knows the mission count and is willing to hold all the way down into finally seeing that confirmation swap. And Track does find the sniper win. It goes up to five and five, I believe that is now. And into our second half of library. Can Track has had opportunities to find spy wins so far, and does not so far really appear to be letting those opportunities uh, go by in this uh, for Lazy Bear. So we'll see if he can find another one here. I'd say Track is playing a little bit better on the day right now, but has not been able to convert it. Can he do it in this game? In three, two, one, playing it. We shall see. There's still a lot of spy party left to be played, so... Often in situations like this, it becomes a bit of an endurance match. And oh, they're yeah. playing long games, so someone's someone's going to get exhausted eventually. 
Yeah, I uh, yesterday on the hype stream, Slappy Davis compared it to boxing. Early on, you're you know slugging at each other, but later on, it's really just about who can hang on, who has this mental fortitude to just keep standing and keep playing good spy party. Long sets can really take a toll. I've played to some of them; they're absolutely brutal, and especially when you're playing long sniper games and when. This just sniper is continually winning. That can be even more exhausting sometimes. Some you just feel like you can't get away with anything. But track, maybe seeing some of the light here, maybe has a little bit more of uh, an idea of thinking, okay, I can do this. I've had opportunities. I just haven't converted. Whereas Lazy Bear seems to have so far just been locked down. Another relatively slow start from track, but the 51% on that first flirt is certainly going to help. Nice close green test and a rejected drink as well. So we'll see how Warning Track plays this moving forward. Yeah, and so far this set has been pretty bereft of bugs. Uh, and bugs... It's been bereft of a lot of things, let's be honest. <laughs> we haven't seen any microfilm. We haven't seen any bugs. And the end of red. So here comes a contact. It's a fake this fake time. Fake contact. Uh, that's three, I think, low lights. And a few, the, the party is looking pretty dark right about now, but yeah, Lazy Bear is doing a really good job of narrowing down all of these parties. It's pretty impressive stuff. Second flirt coming off up to 85% as well, but this is not a lot as far as progress goes. Yeah, we might, we're just going in for this statue. It's a really short path that for a lot of people is kind of behaviorally questionable because AIs can path literally anywhere. They can choose to just path anywhere in the venue with some restrictions. Like you can't repath into the same conversation or you can't go bookcase to bookcase. So this kind of like little step into the statue right behind you can look suspicious to some people. We'll see how that works for Lazy Boy or if this is a highlight for statues and a credit on the fingerprint. There's the flirt finally getting finished up. We've got the one print from the statue. We've got a pair of inspects as well. The problem is that we have four missions left to do and only two minutes to do it. Yeah, two minutes is definitely doable, especially when you already have the half inspects, half fingerprint. You have a lot of options going forward. The fake might limit us a little bit because now doing a real, uh, as you mentioned earlier, Tobo, the old idea where the second one is the real one. Right, so perhaps doesn't want to do a, a real contact, which would limit our opportunities to get missions done very quickly. Ambassador, unfortunately, not taking a drink, not leaving a fingerprint on those uh, those glasses there. So track can't quite go for that. I wouldn't be surprised to see a purloin some bug coming across. Like bug coming across. Finally. I think he got a good look at it, and indeed he did. The shot comes off. Yeah, and this was actually done really well. Toby was walking in front of the ambassador as well, giving providing extra cover, but Lazy Bear with a zoom in manages to see just the glimpse of the open hand. The thing uh, about the, these bugs that are away from the sniper, you can notice how the animation is not the normal animation, the normal walking animation, and you can find that shot. So Track does go for it, is not able to find the bug, unfortunately for him. But again, this is this is just library. This is, you know, library spy. It's always going to be difficult. Taking those opportunities, taking those attempts is not necessarily a bad thing. It just didn't work out this time. Yeah. And if Toby had kept walking, that would have been absolutely perfect. But unfortunately, he picked that exact moment to stop. And that is what caused the hand to actually wind up being visible there. So one more game of library. Lazy Bear on the spy side, warning track on the sniper. Warning track fighting to keep things tied up once again in three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, and if previous games have been any indication, track is all over Lazy Bear spy, but we did get a really, really Ooh. quick Book grab from Lazy Bear here. I don't know how uh, how onto this track is necessarily. It is, of course, time of chaos, and time of chaos can mean some very, very split and divided attention. Maybe the quick book grab doesn't help us very, very, very much. We are being kept on screen a little bit here with the ambassador and Toby, 
but Lazy Bear does have this book out, and we'll have to see if Track is onto this or not. Yeah, blue book in hand from Lazy Bear could be very big. I One thing that is very confusing is that the real double agent is the other twin. Why would you do that? Ooh, this is interesting. Lazy Bear, uh, Track's looking for Lazy Bear kind of a bug here, I think, potential. So, or may maybe just looking for Smallman. Um, but if that's, if, if he was looking uh, around for Lazy Bear's bug, that means he doesn't actually know that there's a book in this hand. Yeah. This is a little bit worrying. Well, definitely sees that book now. Yeah. All the way back over to the blue side, but not to the blue bookcase. It's going to be that first flirt for 34%. Yeah, I, th I think this entire game is definitely going to hinge on whether or not Track has a good idea of where this book came from. If he's at all suspicious of, you know, the, the, the book grab really early on in this game. Um, but of course, even if you get away with the microfilm, it is a 5 of 8 venue. That's why this kind of thing is so sniper favored, because you can just miss that entire mission and still come away with a win on the sniper side because you see something else. Yep, even if you get this book away, you still need another hard tell or a fingerprint. And Lazy Bear is spending a lot of time just trying to make this book as inconspicuous as possible. Yeah, for sure. The, the one positive for Lazy Bear is that, at least visibly, at least in terms of what we can see from track in his lights, he does not seem to be that big of a suspect. Of course... That doesn't always mean that they're not being watched and just not lit, but we'll see. Like, as, as, again, the, the moment of truth in this game is definitely going to be when this book goes back in the wrong bookcase. This, this might just be too much time, though, because it's another flirt, this time a green up to 85%, but we're almost down to two minutes already, and Lazy Bear has not put this book away. Yeah, this is just a long time to be holding this book, especially with the early grab. Like, yes, the longer you're holding this, the more likely you're going to have the rest of the party a crew suspicion, the more likely that they're not really going to know where your book came from. But it's going to crunch the rest of your missions quite a bit. We, If we go for this contact, it's not even going to be that good. SDA is out right now. Both SDAs are out. This would be a really really unfortunate contact if we went for it right now because there's only two people in. He's wasted so much time, though. I don't think he has a choice at this point. I feel like both of these spies are giving the snipers just way too much respect, and it's costing them a lot. We were a minute and 15 seconds no left No way! This is going back into the correct back. I think that this, this is just a hard, slow play game from Lazy Bear. I I think it has to be, but this is this is this is, is, is not this good. This is an incredible amount of respect because you have to say, this 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 play that you're doing sort of requires that the sniper knows this is a blue book and knows you've had it out the entire game and maybe is hoping for a low light and then try to just go absolutely crazy in the last minute of the you game. You don't have time. You just like, don't have. You just got your flirt done. There's 40 seconds left and there is literally zero other progress in this game. There's no time. You'd have to time out like twice. And now the double agents bailed on you. What's the plan, Lazy Bear? In the end of there room. is no plan. You just cannot get there. Here comes a split out of Lazy Bear, but track on the other side of the venue, he's not going to give any credence to this. Control. Oh this my god, it worked! Why did that work? I'm mad about it. Lazy Bear plays a completely slow game, says, look, you need to hole and, and track is not able to do it there he, th this disney goes in eventually yeah and track breaks <laughs> we we play a really slow game lazy bear dares track to hold and track is not able to do it and i again i mentioned earlier on both of these players their biggest weakest weakness as sniper is going to be miss shooting people and here it plays out. Lazy Bear able to find that spy victory on Library where he basically had no reason to be winning it. And it puts him up in the set 7-5. Now... That's the halfway point. That's the halfway point in the set. It's first to 13. Yeah, of in, a, in a normal SCL set, this would have been a nail-biter where it comes down to the last game and Lazy Bear finally wins it. But again, this is double the length.
We've got more to go. We got a lot more to go. Damn right we do. So, Track has already lost one heartbreaker that he really should have won on the library. Potentially and even then, two. and then takes that shot as well, which is another heartbreaker for Track. Lazy Bear very much has the momentum at this point. Yeah, and it felt like Warning Track was really all over this. He was controlling the sniper really well. He was getting shots onto Lazy Bear. He was finding opportunities on Spine, but he wasn't able to convert it. And now the pain of not being able to convert it finally rears its head. If you were able to find one of those spy wins earlier, you wouldn't be behind right now. If you got two of them, you'd still even be ahead of the game. And that's why, you know, it can, it can sometimes it just doesn't matter how close you are to winning a game. It's what the, what matters is the scoreline after it. And if you actually got that W. All right. Gallery. This is an interesting venue. It's a very long one. It feels small, but the walking distances can actually get quite long. It's the venue that is hardest to get flirt done on, except for maybe balcony for time reasons. But we shall see how this goes as Warning Track needs to find a way to rally back. Hopefully he can start it from the spy side, but if he can't start pulling things up on Sniper, it's starting to look bad. Let's see if he can get back on the horse in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Warning Track opening things up at Green Book Cakes. Oh, jeez! And I think it got a we got away with it. I, I think, think he so. did. Ambassador was near to the outside. Lazy Bear's camera was lower. He's gonna walk away with the book as if it's from blue. That's incredible. He's going to no, completely go into this. I think you could have just put this back and had the had the thing. But you had the mission done, but it doesn't matter. I think this just just makes it even more likely that Lazy Bear does not credit this, does not think, oh, this could have been his cheese, because who would walk away with it after a successful cheese? Warning track, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, track is back. <laughs> I think, love to see it. I think that is going to be huge. If we get away with that, and we can just find other... Oh, Queen going into green. And, and, and we just find our missions right after this you get contact you get seduce which is looking a little bit iffy right about now we haven't even gotten the first seduce yet but as long as you get those and you just need one more mission after that especially if you complete complete fairly quickly um it's gonna be really really difficult for lazy bird to shoot especially as you've done this like walk away put it correct to the bookcase this is really really looking good for warning track but you still need to convert it all right, that's a huge start for track, but unfortunately uh, wasn't able to get a whole lot of progress done while he was doing all of that. And this the does not shock double me Double agent wasn't playing nice, seduction target wasn't playing nice, so we step into statues, get a couple of inspects, wait to see if the, the seduction target will actually decide to be anywhere, please. Right, and I actually wouldn't be too unhappy with immediately finishing finishing inspects here <laughs> oh my this, god arrest this me. seduction target is such a jerk <laughs> this is so oh, i like this play i'm we down are, with this it's this a, a print and it's a green that, flirt from a distance it's still only 25 percent that's that, that hurts a bit but the fact that this printable might hurt us actually unless we actually took it and went for like a silent game this is going to be so hard, though. Arrest, he's just been nowhere that we can go. And we only got 25% on the flirt. This could just be a heartbreaker for track here. But we... Yeah, like, the, the double agent hasn't exactly been kind either. Here's another statue visit. Yeah, and I think we're going to be watched for swap here. But of course, that's not what we're going for. Inspect canceled because the ambassador picks up the other statue. But it doesn't matter. We're going to get that, that last inspect here. Oh, man. Track... If he doesn't convert this, this is just going to be another moment where it's just, oh my god, how how could we possibly have lost this for track? The double agent, again, out of conversation. We only have 25% on the floor. We're going to need to probably go for some kind of hard tells, and that's so bad because a lot of the time, people are going to be assuming flirt is done, right? A lot of right. players kind of go with that, so you're all, it's almost as if 
you're, oh, you can't go for this briefcase. But Track walks away from it, breaking <laughs> etiquette there. Oh my goodness, this is going to be terrible. We're going to have to go for a time ad. It's going to be a way right. test. This is so the bad. Speed. This is so bad. The ST oh, leaves no. again. The low lights are coming off and tr the game is falling apart. The ST, the double agent have not been kind. I don't think I have ever seen the AI be this mean. <laughs> like, I don't think I've ever seen it happen like this. Oh, this is no. This, this is just absolutely incredibly sad for track. We had, we have the clean microfilm. We have... A flirt done. Seventy-five We're percent on the out. Flirt. We, we still, still have thirty-five seconds to play. This is double agent is in a conversation. Cool. And the problem is, it's just us and wheels. It's just us and wheels right now. And the woman. bug, the bug no, has to be a suit by Lazy Bear. The ambassador gives us a bug, and we get shot for Ooh. it. Oh, that's so. Oh. <laughs> that I can't even I can't even fault track for this one honestly that no. was track played a brilliant game there but the AI just was not having it ah <laughs> the AI even gets a shot by giving us a bug that we didn't take in the end as well how brutal is that oh, man oh man yeah Oh. Yeah, that's brutal. Uh, and I, there are people in the chat saying that it was a waste of time not to put the book away. No, it's not. What are you going to do with your hands? He was looking for flirts. He was looking for the double agent. He was doing all the things he would have been doing that game anyways. The AI just wasn't having it all game long. And by the time... The AI finally winds up in positions that lets him even try to start getting stuff. It's too late. Yeah, yeah. And this is just so unfortunate. But now Track has to recover. He has to just center himself mentally and say, okay, there's still time in this set. I need to lock down Gallery, and I'm only one flip of this behind. All right. Lazy Bear on the Spy, Warning Track on the Sniper. This is the big one. If Warning Track can get back on the horse here, I think he's still got a very good chance of coming back and making this happen. But if he loses this one, it's gonna I be think hard. that might be one dagger to the heart too many. Let's see if he's able to get it done in three, two, one, playing it. Lazy Bear starting on the outside. You never really like to start on the outside, except for Lazy oh, Bear. Instant, instant time ad. Instant time ad. So the question is... test two. During the time of chaos, when morning track is too much to look at, 34% on the flirt at statues. We're finally getting faster starts. Yeah, this was definitely a pretty quick, a lot of spy actions right at the start of the game. And we now have 4.15 on the clock for the spy, which uh, is, is pretty good when you've already got this much progress. Lazy Bear has just a lot of opportunity going forward, a lot of time to just find his spot and create opportunities as a spy head. And a lot of time for Track to get nervous and shoot somebody else. We're actually gonna see Lazy Bear finish up statues really, really early here, which I quite like. Indeed. Early Did statue you... visits. Yeah, the inspect finishing is statues. done already. Now that is going to put a bit of a target on Lazy Bear's back before we get any hardtail business, but that's so should be able to make it happen without too much trouble moving forward. Yeah, so the thing is about getting the, the this really early heart, uh, you know, inspect completion is that you get a lot, a lot of suspicion really early on, of course. You're just, you have, you're being very threatening. You're doing a lot of things. You're being very active. However, when you have so much time on the clock and you already have this much progress, you see 68% on the flirt now, you think, okay, I can just take it slow from here on out, and I can look really unsuspicious, let the let my suspicion kind of settle down going into the rest of the game, be less active, don't have to worry about it too much, and then later in the game you already have the inspects done. A lot of snipers are willing to shoot based on the timing of finishing those inspects in the last like 40 seconds or so. That's a very conspicuous timing, so already having it done is a big boon, even if it does mean we're going to be a big suspect going forward. 
And now we can afford to just hang out in this front conversation idol for a bit because we got that early time ad. Yeah. However, of course, we are using oh, Irish to back out to us. This is, this is just yeah. insulting. We, we, it's only a white test, 98%, not quite 99, just for you, Toba. The game was <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. 98, 99 are effectively the same number as far as spy party flirts go. Uh, but we, we always hate to see the 99%. But Irish walks into it, walks away from us, and re what is this? This is like the exact opposite. This is the exact opposite of what happened to track last game. Last game, our ST was all over the place. We couldn't flirt with them. But Lazy Bear is one getting an ST that actually has inspect complete. So they've been pretty active. They are a suspect, but they're also giving us flirt. Like usually it's one or the other. Usually either your ST is active or- Oh, you for the that was a failed bug attempt. I don't think it was seen, unfortunately, because it was pretty out there because the ambassador bounced off the back of us. Yeah, but and that's he really did go for it, man. didn't take, but unfortunately, Track wasn't able to get a handle on it either. So everything is fine right now. Lazy Bear still trying to find, actually a little bit low on time at the moment. Minute and 10 left to play. Still needs a hard tell and something else. Yeah, the contact has not really been available for a long time now. And even though the double agent did just do a conversation, there is no space in it. You can't get, you can't find a spot. General, general, there's a spot very, very conveniently. So Lazy Bear going to be able to pick up that contact, but there's only 50 seconds left on the clock. We're still going to need to find one more thing to do. That said, this contact could prompt a shot from track. I would not be super shocked. Can. It's not a very good contact. There's a lot of people outside of conversations right now. Here it comes. This contact might save his track right here because he's looking for a swap in general right. right now. Here comes the contact. He's going to be able to take those low lights pretty calm. Irish gets low light as well. Lots of people out. No, the truck comes off. <laughs> and that's the big thing about just how long these games are. Track is had it seemed to really have a huge control over the sniper early on in the set but has not been able to continue converting and takes two miss shots in a row and is now dreadfully down he's going to need a lot to bring this back lazy bear sitting real pretty oh man oh man things are starting to look rough for track it's just been so many heartbreakers but we've still got two more to play on the gallery there's still time to bring this back but that window is opportune of opportunity is absolutely closing track needs to start making up some ground starting from the spy side of gallery in three two one playing it and now the failed conversions just sting so much more they continue to just hurt this is a very reminiscent start to last game where we were playing alice and we started outside for the green time <laughs> <laughs> track decides you know what if you can't beat them join them we're gonna play the lazy bear style right now it takes that early time at but uh not getting the same early flirts oh man well the lazy bear style last game was let your seduction target do all of the work for you which <laughs> didn't exactly work for him last game yeah yeah track again playing this relatively slow and steady as he does he's gonna go into statues this is not surprising at all as he can double dip here on the flirt and on the inspect that's a it's a very big thing that a lot of spies like to do. If you can do multiple things at one spot in the venue, it's very good as it's very time efficient. I'm a little bit surprised he didn't scoot a little bit closer to the seduction target there to try to get a few more percent on it. As it stands, it's 25. And back in the conversation we go, pretty close, but not like full points close, which I think is a good decision. Green test once more. Brings us up to 73%, and that basically means we don't have to worry too much about positioning for the last one. Here comes contact, the contact coming off as well. This, this is a good, good one, unfortunately. Smallman being out, 
is uh, the the main thing that makes it a little bit awkward, and it actually comes off quite a few lowlights in the end. But Seek does get brought back up as it, you know, Lazebear understands that this could have been a bit of a briefcase split, something that a lot of players like to do to say, "Hey, look at me! I could well, look at me! I couldn't have been in conversation. I'm, I'm doing briefcase." Um, so five total lowlights coming out of the contact and in conversation in a brilliant spot to wait out the timer for this flirt. There's the timer. There's the flirt. That's two missions done and an inspect in the pocket. The unfortunate thing right now for track is that this party seems pretty dead. Not many people are doing things. There's just not many much activity here. Um, we are one of two highlights along with our ST. The party is narrowed by seven guests, which is gonna make it pretty difficult to find the last mission. But Bob is not trying to pass the bug, and. That was nigh invisible, all right? Usually when you do these reverse drive-by bugs, there is a slight animation hitch because you reset your idle animation in conversation. But track was between idle animations, which means there was no reset and no reason to think that it was a bug from Lazy Bear's side. But the question is, does Lazy Bear have to credit that? And if Warning Track goes to statues, does Lazy Bear shoot? Because I think that's, that's how Track wins. He's not yeah. afraid to just win in the boring way. So I would be very, very surprised if he did anything else but go to this statue that's facing the sniper to say, hey, look at me, I'm not swapping. Here he comes right into those statues, right as I predicted. Can Lazy Bear shoot for this bug? Yeah, that was beautiful. The longer you wait for the statue visit, the more likely it is Lazy Bear's gonna be willing to shoot for it. And the shot does come off! Lazy Bear still makes it happen! Wow. Lazy Bear, willing to credit, knows that Track is the type of player to go back to those statues and takes the shot that he needs to control this lead and now he is all the way up to 10 points to tracks five that is if, a big deficit if track had gone faster i think he would have had a better chance but he idled a bunch before hanging that statues i think he had to head right there that would have given him the be best chance at it because an extra 30 seconds difference on the clock will make you a lot less willing to take that shot but the shot does indeed come off Lazy Bear makes it happen. 10 to 5 is the current scoreline, and it's all falling apart for Warning Track as he steps into the sniper gut side for the end of Gallery in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Yeah, and this is definitely where, where you don't want to be for Track, but Lazy Bear has had an incredible set. It looked like he was struggling a little bit early on, but as he has settled into things, he has been able to convert multiple spy games look can, because track just kind of i think has broken down a little bit on the sniper side this is track's main weakness we've seen it again and again he's sometimes just going to shoot, shoot a civilian if you wait long enough and that does pretty well for lazy bear style lazy bear likes to leave that opportunity open doesn't want to do things too early and that's actually true for both of them but Lazy Bear so far has been able to hold better, has been able to find those fundamentals to say, I can hold this until you complete missions and find the actual spy. There's already been four statue visitors. <laughs> yeah, you never like to see that on gallery. So the thing is about gallery is that statues are usually a lot worse uh, than other venues because AIs just don't complete them very often. But Sometimes with games like these, it can be very, very uncomfortable as a sniper because you realize, oh my god, look at how many people are going to statues. That's a lot of threat in this party. And Lazy Bear, you know, just, I think, and at least in this in this game in particular, in gallery, in gallery, I'll, I'll call it gallery, Lazy Bear has been really getting the party luck compared to track. So we're looking at 28% on the flirt right now, and a quick little visit from the ambassador. Pretty we much completely the here. hidden. Here's the bug. Was just a little bit visible on that lean, but I think he might have got away with it clean because of the Duke's positioning there. That might be the nail in the coffin. 
Yeah, Lazy Bear did not make this bug happen for himself, and that makes it so much harder to catch. When a, when, it, when someone goes in next to the ambassador themselves and positions themselves for it, you're going to be watching pretty closely. But when the ambassador just walks up to a spot in conversation, you're still going to be watching it, of course. But the odds that they're the spy compared to someone walking next to the ambassador are just lower. And you're it's not as suspicious, and it's not as threatening. And so you're just not going to be watching as much and Lazy Bear looking for a nice contact, a nice green test on the floor at 65%, a little bit unfortunate because 65% is, of course, the range where you need to hit a green test to find that last flirt, even at a close range. 34% is the maximum, which will leave us at the dreaded 99% purloin here coming off from Lazy Bear as people are going to statues. Green test Black too. Not really on the, uh, you know, you know, not really having Lazy Bear on screen. We have another reject out of Seek. This could be absolutely devastating for Track if, you know, he looks up and he realizes, oh my this god, the list, list is, is so visible. There's the, the fade. Fades. Knows it's green, takes the shot, but it's not the right one. It was the wrong rejector. And I think this is over. It's. I it's, think this might be over. It's gonna be difficult, Track is in a hole and i and obviously he knows it i think that shot was a demonstration of the fact that he knows it he realizes i need to win this game i it's it's too i i can't allow this game to go to a mission when i can't allow this to happen and he takes that shot he he realizes that he does not have a good enough track on the purloin and this party is too active so he's going to take the highest percentage shot he can and fortunately this one is just not correct and track now down 11 to 5 lazy bear only needs two more can give up so many spy victories to track and still be in a comfortable winning position it's just going to take honestly sort of a miracle for track to come back here yeah this has been brutal that's the doubled venues done Gallery was tracks too, so that doesn't help, but it's going to be high rise next, any three of five. And then balcony, which is well, balcony is a little bit coin flippy, so you don't mind being in a hole going into balcony, but high rise is certainly not something you want to see. And pub at the end is not something you want to see. So even the venues are kind of against track right now. But starting things out. On high rise, any three of five track is on the spy and takes off fingerprint swap and transfer microfilm in three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, and fingerprint off has been the more common uh, idea here recently for 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 SCL six. It's it used to be fingerprint on was the massive favorite, but instead purloin has sort of taken priority recently. <clears throat> So, both of these players are very, very experienced on High Rise. They they enjoy it quite a bit. Track is well known for picking this into Kaylee, for example, uh, and and winning on it, being very successful there. Uh, picks it picked it quite a bit in previous seasons, not as much this season actually, um, but has strength there. Lazy Bear, of course. Uh, I don't, you know, it's a, it's a different tournament, but there was a venue tournament. For high rise, and there's a, there was a venue tournament for every venue, but for high rise, Lazy Bear did a especially well. I think going some insane level of win rate, like nine out of like it was it was incredible. It was only one or two losses over the entire group stage of that tournament. So Lazy Bear, no slouch here, can absolutely take this down. And the route one for most high rise games is going to be framing, waiting for an AI to go to those center statues and trying to get uh, someone shot. And look at this. Unfortunately, we I thought Taft was at those center statues, which was actually going for the briefcase and walks away from it. 41% on the first flirt. Now in conversation with the double the agent red. alone, interestingly enough. This is a very unusual contact. Uh, trying to make it look like the other conversation was the one with the reels in it, but lets off some pretty significant lowlights yeah, during... That's... The process. That's a lot more low light than you really want to see on a high rise game. Because the party is just so limited already. Those four low lights, that's half the available suspects. So track maybe not making the best choice 
as far as that goes. You really want to see something more impressive, especially when you have enough time to wait around. So track, possibly a little bit shaken, try, just trying to find something to get himself back into the set. But AI is not cooperating, not going to center statues. And of course, we've knocked out four of them. So just 50% yeah. less people that can actually help us out here. So yeah. really, an AI, and this session target's not picking up a briefcase, so is going to be walking away from us. So we're not finishing that flirt anytime soon unless we move or Rusty comes back to us, which maybe they will. Maybe they will. Nope, going into <laughs> blue books. Yeah, it's not, it's, 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 it's just not looking good. 81% on the flirt after another green test, but unfortunately with 40 seconds left on the clock, we need another flirt and another mission. It might just have to be the purloin here, and I think track might already be mentally there out of it. There it is. It does hit the green on the purloin, so we might be able to get something out of that, especially if we get a little bit of a reject chain going. The thing the is, Pearl is just sure. going to take it straight up. Oh, the fade's going to be difficult to see. The low light comes off. But we only need the flirt. We only need the flirt. We're going to pick up the statue. The statue might be a off. decent run at it, but it's not enough. The shot comes off, and Lazy Bear has himself match seven point. match points. A lot of them, that's for sure. And so going into the set, Track had an idea of Purloin on a high rise where Lazy Bear tends to, to assume it's green if he can't see the fade. And wanted to try to maybe intentionally white some uh, on someone who rejected before him looks like the party didn't really give him that opportunity this time around so we had to just go for that green purloin lazy bear also saw the fade very nicely done out of lazy bear i think if that fade had been a little bit faster it would have been much harder to see but lazy bear of course double zoomed in on it very very disciplined so was able to find that shot was able to get that done what's interesting to me is that this shot comes at 14 seconds when the purloin came off at 22 seconds so if we had already had flirt done that could have been pretty close that could have been that could have been you know within lag range of track finding a spy win there but just could not do it lazy bear not able or rather not sorry warning track not able to find a, a spy win against lazy bear's dominant sniper yep trump getting burned by late flirts once again Unfortunately, and that once again. <laughs> Am I the only one that heard Trump point. there? Yeah, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to move on. Lazy Bear, of course, is in a dominating position. Track needs seven in a row. <laughs> <laughs> to uh to to even get to a draw to get to missions equals points and i think that once late one once warning track just started shooting shooting sieves and not able to hold and started to lose that control over the sniper it has just spiraled out of control from there and it just is not looking good for warning track yeah i feel like as soon as things started to go wrong on the library, he just lost that mental edge he had going into this match, going into this match, and hasn't been able to get it back. And it's just been getting worse and worse ever since. Yeah, for sure. Oh man. And now, track in his last match of his SCL career against the wall. Lazy Bear has been completely calm and collected and controlled. Can Track bring this back, or is this going to be a very, very convincing finals from Lazy Bear? That's the question we've got. And Lazy and Warning Track first, before anything else, has to get a, a sniper victory on a high rise. Yeah. That's where it starts. It's very doable. No purloin, no swap, no transfer for Lazy Bear. Warning track with his back against the wall and will be for seven games starting in three, two, one, playing it. Lazy Bear, uh, uh, do, do, do note that purloin is off this game. It is instead a fingerprint game from Lazy Bear. Also, he's going for this flirt with his ST over here, most players won't go for that because it just looks so suspicious. It's a very tiny pad. You can't even flirt from the other 
window pad, it's just that tiny little spot. But actually, we were off screen the entire time while we were there, so we get away pretty clean with this flirt. Unfortunately, it's only a white test for Lazy Bear. If we'd had a green test there, we could have tried for a really, really quick early flirt, just blitz that out, go to center statues, and contact immediately afterwards. But Lazy Bear is, of course, going for these blitz flirts regardless. And Track still not keeping him on screen. Green test on the flirt. Here, yeah, Track's really, um, really just zooming in on the conversations here. There's another flirt. Green test up to 80%. Ooh. Something I would, I've been really interested in doing is Lady, Lazy Bear puts back this book and just goes to center statues next to Smallman again, finishes flirt there, and then you're getting a contact at like two minutes for, for a mission win countdown. Can Track even shoot for that? Especially when Lazy Bear usually on high rise is more inclined to go for a frame on somebody. But Smallman oh. is obliging the frame. Smallman going to center statues right now. Is it possible? To Wait, we go nope. for a contact? A contact? Yeah, double agents just Banana double agents just wandered over. So Smallman at center statues gets taken out for the contact. I I don't understand about that decision from Lazy Bear because. When you see someone going to center statues on a high rise, on 305 high rise, you want to keep them in at all costs, basically, because the sniper then has to make the decision, do I want to shoot that person? But now, Track can know for 100% sure that Smallman is not the spy. Yeah, I think the AI has been being so kind to him all set long. When the double agent wandered over like that, he just pulled the trigger on it without really paying attention to who was where. There's a contact, there's a fake one coming off, but yeah, and two more with an SDA like, as well. Now this does mean that every single character in the game who is still, who is not a low light does have real contact. So anyone going to statues late, excuse me, could get shot. However, it just doesn't seem very likely. And wow, that, that looked really awkward. Caught for there. on the entrance into the green bookcase. Yeah, this is looking a little bit bad for Lazy Bear right now. You're still not done with the flirt, even though you had those really two early flirts. You know, there's... Oh, we go for the bug, and it is seen, I think. Shot comes oh, yeah. off. And that's one game, but Track, of course, needed it to stay in this. But that that is a sniper game. Now yeah. he's going to need to find something he has not been able to find all set. Spy victories. He's going to need three of them. Yeah. That's Even a track who has all but given up, I don't think is going to miss that one if he's looking at it. It's not looking great for track, but that is absolutely the start he needed. And now with Balcony coming up next. Balcony is definitely somewhere where you can find track getting uh, uh, you know, back into it. You know, of course, Balcony has that idea where it's a little bit more coin flippy quote unquote than some other venues and of course track is very good at balcony so i would not be surprised to see him survive this but again it's just so much and lazy bear has just been playing so well it's so hard to imagine that track's ever going to be able to find a way back in yeah it's not looking great but let's see if he can get a start at it here on the spy side of balcony or if lazy bear is going to be able to put it away in three two one playing it man lazy bear could become the second winner of scl ever in any one of these games as soon as any one of these games ends the second winner because we had the same winner for five seasons in a row it's always been crazy kaylee but this time, our first winner that's not Crazy Kaylee, our first winner that's not from Diamond, it is the first year, of course, that anyone could even participate in the finals from any other division. Lazy Bear has already won entry into Diamond next season by beating Rio. Uh, so, you know, you're going to see him there next season, of course. And for good reason, Lazy Bear is extre an extremely good player and is just showing off in this set, playing knockout sniper and forcing track to try and hold it but ha track just not has not had the same knockout level 
Very early contact with everybody in. You love to see it. Couple of flirts deep at this point puts us at 56%. But with we with us now ticking down under a minute to play, I think he's going to need a fairly close green to finish this up. And the positioning of the conversation is not looking good for it. I think he's going to have to step away. Yeah, it would, or general, if general steps away for us, we could find it, but we still would talk because we are required to by the conversation. We could even get shot for that alone, just because we've been sitting next to Sari this entire time. But no shot coming off quite yet. Flirt, flirt cooldown has expired, but we, of course we can't finish it here. 86 percent work after another green. I don't think track ever wants a timeout here is a thing. And we are on track. Excuse the pun. Yeah. Out. If we don't move around right now, we're going to be looking for. I think it's over. I think I think it's over. over. Three Lazy seconds. On balcony. Lazy Bear holding on balcony. Dude, we're going to get the formation. Back and the shot comes oh. off. And Lazy Bear is your season Ooh. six SCL champion. Yeah, Lazy Bear just playing an incredibly good sniper side is the story of this set lazy bear didn't really do anything different than his normal spy game in a lot of these but at the same time his spy is so good that just his normal spy is going to get him there and when he can hold that sniper side all the way through i think only let up one spy win or was did he even let up any spy wins I, I don't uh, remember. No, oh, no. Jack never got no, a spy win. Not, not, not a single I spy I mean, there win. were like, you know, those couple that he could have gotten, but that just got dropped. Yeah. So when you're playing that good of a sniper, it can be, it can feel impossible to even compete. It's and like Kaylee. Yeah. It's, it's like Kaylee. This is, this is why Kaylee was so dominant. You found an incredible sniper and Lazy Bear is honestly a better spy than Kaylee ever was, in my opinion probably one of the best spies in the game period and so when his sniper is on point he is so incredibly hard to beat yeah mm -hmm. and it shows Improving right here. it here if you want to pull up track and lazy bear to yeah. have a bit of a chat with him let's, let's do it all right we're gonna get the interview after the set <laughs> with both of our both of our players congratulations Hey, Hello, guys. congratulations, Hello. Lazy Bear, on the incredible set, really. Yeah, that was that was very impressive stuff. I am very upset that you did not allow me to be the first to congratulate him because <laughs> he absolutely deserves it. It's a deserving champion, a great guy, uh, one of the toughest opponents I've ever had to prep. And uh, it's not that mm -hmm. close, to be perfectly honest. And no, it's con not. Congratulations, buddy. You deserve it. I mean, there were a few things where, you know, it could have gone the other way in a few matches, but... Yeah, should this be a free-for-all, or do you guys have questions that you want to lead with? It's, I'm well, happy either way. Well, The first thing I'm curious about, Track, is uh, that spy game on Library. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's uh, the one. Do you want to <laughs> explain yourself? Uh, what the first one? I mean the the the, the one, one where you, you didn't flirt. flirt. The one where you were just yeah. like. <laughs> well, it's a couple things. Um, so I mean, I one thing I uh learned very quickly about Lazy Bear is that he's not one of those guys where you can get your hard tells and then you can just sort of assume flirt. If he's falling behind, he will flirt pair late in the game and catch you for aggressive late flirting. Uh, a couple of his opponents actually men mentioned this to me, and I definitely saw it in the replays. So my thinking there is, you know, if I'm not dead yet, I really just need to get this flirt, and I can't be obvious about it. Every time I looked up, I don't know if you were using my cam, uh, but every time I looked up, the ST was going somewhere else. And I just kept thinking, man, come on. And I've there seen, was, yeah. There, there was one moment when you were being like offered by Toby and your ST was at Green Books right nearby. I feel like you could have just gone for that. I think that was the, that was the first opportunity, right? Post swap. That, and I, at that point, I think there was like a minute 40 left, something like that. And I thought, yeah, you know what? 
Yeah, so I don't need. I figured I don't need to rush it yet. You know, that's the kind of thing I'd go for <laughs> if there's tw- twenty fewer seconds. Uh, mm-hmm. But I'm just assuming that at some point she's going to sit in the conversation, and it just didn't happen. Not only did it not happen, I think she went to the far right pad, literally as far away as yeah. possible. Well, she went so, to the, she went to another bookshelf first. Another bookshelf in the far, and I thought yeah. really, and and then mm-hmm. at that point I thought, you know what, the, it's just going to be an action test for the win, and that's what it was, and I didn't quite hit it. So yeah, and it it just really felt like you you had more opportunities and you had more control early on in the set, but. That library game that you missed shot, I believe, onto Seek, yeah. that just uh, cracked it. It was Walt, like, yeah. Or, um, yeah. Well, yeah. It was one of the tall ones. It yeah. was one of the tall guys in a black suit, yeah. Um, <laughs> they're all interchangeable. Yeah, um, I was 100% committed to holding there because he has a lot of trouble finishing on library. It was one of the stronger notes I had. But when he does, it's with things like that. From my perspective, Walt split after a late BB right into briefcase. Mm-hmm. And I thought he might have already had one print. I wasn't positive, but it's also a library. So I was trying to be you know, agnostic about that. And that was pretty much the only thing I... It could have gotten me to shoot at that point because I was just going to wait it out otherwise. And it turns out that was that would have been the right move. But that's how it goes sometimes. I'm actually I'm actually really embarrassed about that sniper game because <laughs> it's by far my weakest one. Like one, I replay sniped library uh, on you, and mm-hmm. a lot of the games you would finish middle statues or inspect, and then you would purloin after, which yes. you did in this game. In this game, I missed the swap, I missed your take, and I had no idea who did it. Mm-hmm. So I'm just sitting there like, yeah, this is a loss. Like I was just so would you? <laughs> so would you, so any flirt would have been fine. Like you would not have shot for anyone. Yeah, but yeah. I, I'm, I'm not sure he wants to hear that. But some games yeah, well, it's like that. It's yeah. hard to tell, right? Yeah. Right, and 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 you're just one of the players. I know I can't assume that against is the main. Right, thing. right, that, right. Yeah, and that's where we talk about this all the time. Having something in your toolbox, being able to do it sometimes, just enough that the other player can't count on it. And that is where you actually get a benefit from your other games. Because you've caught people doing that kind of stuff late in other games, it won you this game where you wouldn't have. And that is why, you know, your entire body of work as a player uh, is part of your skill set, really, even if it didn't come through in this game. But that was definitely the turning point. That felt like a win. An action test wins it. And it would have been the first spy win, I think. And it yeah, been, that yeah. was that was definitely a tough one to take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and after library, it felt like it just sort of fell apart a little bit on the sniper side for your track. Uh, yeah, just... that's fair. I mean, I did, I really felt fine. I wasn't tilting or freaking out. I was still hitting action tests. I felt like most of my decisions were pretty good. But well, there uh, was one other game where it started oh, out pretty well. The gallery game. Oh, yeah. so, that, that one was just a heartbreaker. We can all we can all sympathize. Yeah. With our so track. I was. I really. How I just want to know how loud did I get Toboshi on that move? <laughs> I got so excited. I was when you left that blue bookcase. I got so excited. Oh, I I what a spawn! What a spawn! So you know what? I literally. I mean, that's the thing. I was looking. I had notes. I have notes for every venue. I did my prep very differently this time because I had to. Because you're going to play so many venues, you can't just focus in, right? Um, And my top note on gallery was: if you spawn in the back and the ambassador is not near you, do this. (laughs) <laughs> and and it worked apparently but again with the seduction target my god you know yeah i mean look i'm not gonna blame it he played great he was absolutely suffocating uh i think there are two maybe three games in there where if the seduction target's a little friendlier you know it's a close match heading into the end at least yeah. and then who knows what happens but you know that's the game sometimes it's a game of percentages uh, i know that uh, as much as anyone so um it's it's still a very deserving uh victory for lazy bear man i got, I got so mad at that those first few uh, gallery games because after you made that incredible play both the seduction target and the double agent were just absolutely <laughs> not having it all game long yeah. and then it's lazy bear's turn and the seduction yeah. target joins conversation with him twice oh god well well i don't want to take away i don't i mean now that my complaining is out of the way, I don't. I want to make it clear I'm not taken away because he played a great game as sniper. And, oh, absolutely. You know, that's the thing. He only gave me a few little openings, and when they didn't take, that was it. He didn't give me any more after that, and a lot of snipers would have. So uh, he deserves a ton of credit for that. But, you know, my spy is normally a little slow. It's a little too reliant on sniper mistakes, and I was very determined not to play the way I normally play this time. And, you know, I'm mostly happy speaking with it. Speaking of the way you normally play, and speaking of gallery, though, there was this one, the one game on gallery where you're playing Alice, you get this beautiful beautiful yep. reverse drive by bug yep. and you wanted I, me to go to statues right away didn't you we did and we both did <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. Said that. i don't I think so there. yeah i don't think i thought about it long and hard uh and a couple things changed my mind one is that again i feel like that's the kind well, of thing well if you didn't think about it long uh you would have been there sooner 
<laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, there was so much time left on the clock that I thought, you know what, he's going to be crediting this. And it turns out he was, for, for the record. I don't know if it yeah. would have mattered when I went, but I feel like if he's crediting it either way, the best thing I can do is wait like a good minute and a half. And that's what I decided to do. And he said yeah. right after, he's like, I hated that shot. <laughs> and I've I, taken I that double, I double yeah. zoomed on you and Orange for like two minutes, I think. Yeah. There's nothing you can do about that bug. Um, yeah. I, I have shot for that. I shot, I think, Urand, who got a similar bug off on Gallery, and I hated that shot too. Um, there's not a lot you can do about it, and, and that's just another one of those like 40 to 60% range outcome things, right, where maybe he's going to shoot and maybe he's not. And when you're in a really close set, you'll take those. When you're behind, it's a little tougher, but I think, you know, if he's going to credit it, good for him. He has to take that shot there. It's a little easier with a lead, uh, but, but good on him. I think if he was crediting it that much, then probably didn't matter what I did, thankfully, and hopefully I maximize <laughs> my chances, but I'll never really know. Yeah, I, 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 I agree that, like, the timing of when you go to those last inspects does not matter if he's, it, the, what matters if he's, if he's crediting that hard enough or not. Really. Yeah, and so. by the way, that, that's, that's responsible for the Civ shot on Twin, I think, in the, maybe the following game. One of my bigger notes on Gallery is that he loves that, he calls it the Uran stop, where you're walking yeah, towards yeah, the ambassador, yeah. you stop dead on a painting pad while, as the ambassador walks by for the, uh, for the drive-by, and, uh, Twin did exactly that. And I thought, well, if he gets a real contact, uh, I think I'm going to have to take this shot. And, you know, that's exactly what happened. And that's the thing. Uh, you know, notes are great. Every now and then an AI does exactly what your opponent likes to do, though. And mm -hmm. when that moment comes, it can be a very, very tough decision. Were you guys confused by the Tayan, Tayan sh shot, by the way? Which, the <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, at the very beginning. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the Tayan. figure it out? Yeah, that Tayan shit. wasn't. Did I? Was it the Toby thing? Yep, it was Toby. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I thought so. You, I was like, no you way. have so few weaknesses, but one of your weird little weaknesses is that you forget about Toby sometimes. I yeah, 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 I did, I did notice so, that. It's one of those things where against top players, you just try to stop thinking about it. Kind of like on pub, you stop thinking about swaps sometimes. Like It's like nobody does this, right? Nobody makes this kind of mistake anymore. But I just had this little note here, like, don't actually forget to watch reject times. And that was it. That was just a free win for, you know, now and then. Look, the research giveth and the research taketh away. <laughs> that was that, that gave me a nice, easy sniper game to start. And I think that's one of the reasons the first handful of games went so well is because I got a nice, easy one, totally consistent with the notes, and I calmed down pretty nice. And, boy, I'm, I'm just glad some spy wins got in there, even if none of them were mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, really well played set, the both of you. It was an exciting finals, an exciting capstone to this, this very yeah. long season of SDL. Yeah, it's a fitting end, too, because I think everyone who was watching the competitive scene in general, apart from SCL, just saw Lazy Bear taking a huge leap forward, winning event after event, and being close in the ones he wasn't winning, just over and over. And, you know, it was just his year in, in so many ways. And I want to thank Lazy Bear. I want to thank the competitors. I want to thank Kaylee for running it and you guys for casting it. And, you know, this is this is my last match. I said I said that win or lose. It's, mm -hmm. It would have been a little easier to say that, win rather than yeah. lose. But, but I did make up my mind. <laughs> it, playing this game at this level has been one of the great joys and challenges of my life I, I i am not this is not false modesty i am shocked i'm here i never thought it would happen i've had to reconstruct what i think about this game and how it should be played based on the success i never expected to have mm -hmm. and a couple months ago i don't know if you guys know i, I got attacked a couple months ago by a dog actually i had two, <laughs> ma I had two matches left at the time i ended up in the emergency room and i was in the in the ambulance and i just thought to myself I think I'm going to have to forfeit. I don't think I'm going to get to play anymore. You know, maybe I won't even be able to use a mouse. And by the grace of God, I was able to do it and finish and play great competitors like Cotty and Lazy Bear and Urand. There were so many deserving champions this year. I knew we were not going to be disappointed no matter what. And I'm not disappointed at all. Yeah. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure to watch you guys. Yep. Now, it's, it's, I mean, with Lazy Bear getting into Diamond, this is a good time to escape. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was one of the nice symmetries here. There were so many people who left Diamond, and I was kind of I stuck around one more year. Like, oh, hey, where'd everybody go? And it just became obvious that after this year, I should I should back off and let this new generation of players just show us their stuff because if they're at all like Lazy Bear, they've got a lot to show us. Yeah, I and mean, we may just have a new final boss of Spy Party. Yeah, I hope so. I I can't wait to cast Lazy Bear next finals. Oh, oh, you think you think I'm gonna let him get their track? Oh, Come on. Have, <laughs> are you? Uh, oh, are you gonna? Actually, uh, be one, maybe the rules not. maybe the rules will change so that you can both make it from the same division or something. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the, yeah, we'll see. Maybe yeah, may, who knows? Maybe someone in gold will even have a chance. That'd be yeah, amazing. That'd be amazing. I hope yeah. I get to cast the two of you. Mostly though, I just I just hope I get to cast because I, I missed it so much this year. Mm-hmm. Well, 
I, I, I hope I did you proud, Trek. I know that you, you usually cast these finals, and Tobo is, of course, always here. So I'll, I'll watch the VOD and tell you later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll have your notes. <laughs> I'll have my notes. I've always got notes. At Lazy Bear, though, we've been focusing a little bit on track. Uh, yeah, please, please. Mo mo most, mostly because, you know, this is his last uh, competitive set in SCL. But Lazy Bear, it's got to feel pretty good to be winning SCL finals. Yeah, it feels really good, man. Like, I didn't know what to expect coming into this. And, yeah, like, <laughs> my sniper, luckily, was on point, which is usually what you need in finals, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I feel really good. I'm very happy. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, my goodness. That was, like, I'm, my, my adrenaline is still pumping, guys. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like such a camper. That's my only like. I was just a little bit afraid to do like risky low lights. But I don't worry about that, it. I'm That's happy. my part. It, it it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't surprise me because Track did have notes on some of the things that um, yeah yeah like I, saw him, or, I saw I, I him saw him like playing pawn noob and like one cycling middle statues and stuff. And I was like, <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna. <laughs> It served so, you really well. Yeah. I had a couple. I was fishing for low lights a couple times, and you uh you were not taking the ones you normally take. So good on you. Yeah, but behaviorism still won. <laughs> I just want to put that out there. That's the first time I think. Yeah, I don't think, think it's, it's, the, it's the first time literally <laughs> anybody but Crazy Kalius won. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> wow. So th thank you guys for coming in, doing this this interview afterwards. I'm sure it can be a little bit difficult after you know settling down after a match. I know I have to take some time to settle down after matches a lot of the time. Uh, so thank you guys for coming in, talking to us about it. Thank everybody for watching. Thank you, Tobo, for casting with me. Thank you, Kletos, for hosting. It's been a wonderful year. Spy party. Oh, it's man. An absolute pleasure. <laughs> that uh, that and, addendum, wonderful year of spy party. That's a very important copy. <laughs> very important, very important. <laughs> the one part uh, of our lives that's going great, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I, everybody... Thank you for watching, and if you are not already part of the Spy Party community, not already playing the game yourself, this game is, of course, Spy Party. We've been saying it a lot. You can get it at spyparty.com or on Steam. <clears throat> and if, you get, if you get it on spyparty.com, you will also get it on Steam. Yes, yes. Uh, it just of course. gives Checker more money. <laughs> you, you can connect your spyparty.com account to your Steam and play it from there. And if you want more information about competitive events like the Spy Party Competitive League, we have a Discord over at discord.gg slash spyparty. Very easy thing to remember. Very nice. Uh, you can join in. There's always more events coming on, always more signups. They're, and they're pretty much always open signups. So no matter how much experience you have in the game, you don't have to be as good as these two players right here. You can be a brand new competitor and join in on the fun. So if you're interested at all in that, that's where you're going to go to. Again, just one big thank you to everybody from bottom of my heart. I love this community. I love this league. Thank you, Kaylee, for running it and everyone who's helped out with running it. Thank you, Wodar, Kletos, all of the casters. Uh, thanking myself there, weirdly enough. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's everything that... I have to say on the topic, it's been a really great year. First by point. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so that's going to do it for us tonight. Thanks as well to everybody who came out to watch. And until next season, have a great evening. <laughs>